We finally got our first characters from Lancelot and Gurren as playable pilots, plus their nightmare frames. It's about time. Schnee Hexen is a rank 4 Annihilator. Really? Again? Yay, more Annihilators! Said no one ever! When deployed, every 20 seconds for 20 seconds, he cloaks himself. And increases damage to enemies two squares away by 25%. This damage will increase by 25% as the enemies get further away. If the enemy is three squares away, the damage is increased to 50%. If it's four squares, the damage becomes 75. And finally, if it's five squares away, it becomes 100%. Now, to gain the full effect, Schnee will need to use a nightmare frame with a remote weapon that has a long range, including his Sarlin and the Lance on Fly enabled version. Obviously. Now, let's talk about his next ability, which is somewhat contradictory. For 35 seconds, he increases. His attack power by 35% and the Nightmare Frame skill power by 45% every time the Nightmare Frame skill is inactivated for 20 seconds. What does that mean? Basically, if you don't use your Nightmare Frame skill, Schnee will increase the attack power for both his Nightmare Frame skill and his base attack, so his weapon needs time to charge. Schnee has great stats, including high range attack, which is the highest among other pilots with high range damage. But that doesn't make any sense. I get that Schnee's a great pilot, but... He's not that good. Despite that, he's great and definitely worth summoning. He's unlimited, so if you already have a powerful team, then you can skip him. His cloaking ability makes sense given his other abilities are designed to go with Nightmare Frames with long range, including his own custom Sarlin. This is now the sixth Sarlin and the second custom version in the game. They really love their Sarlins, don't they? This custom Sarlin has the reversed range as the Lancelot Flight enabled version. Its base attack targets two enemies in range, prioritizing enemies in the distance. See how that could be annoying? If you need to take out certain enemies that are closer, but it also can be useful at the same time. The special deals 4.5 times your attack power and 8,000 on top of that. I'm sounding like a broken record. Anyways, every Nightmare Frame seems to have the same ability. This Nightmare Frame is amazing. My only complaint is that I prioritize the enemies that are the furthest away. 90% of the time. And it won't matter. But when it does, it might piss you off. If you combine the two, Schnee could deal over 15,000 damage. Damn. That would make him a boss killer. Side note. With Schnee, that now makes seven characters that cloak, yet somehow we only have two decloakers. Address this problem. Let's talk about Schnee's partner, Leto. This poor bastard has been through so much. But that's a story for another time. Leto is a rank for Annihilator pilot. His abilities relate to how much health he has. If it's 50% or more, he increases his action speed by one and attack power by 35%. If Leto is piloting his Sarlin, his action speed is increased by 1.7 and his attack power by 70%. Impressive. If his health is below 50%, he recovers 12% of his own health every 0.5 seconds and reduces the attack damage by 0.73 times, just like the new main character pilot. Leto's stats are balanced with high health and melee attack power, so he goes well with the Gwen because of his healing ability. Just like Schnee, this character is quite solid. His abilities are a mix between Zaku and C2. Next! Let's talk about Leto's custom Sarlin. This Sarlin is melee only, which is disappointing because in the game it showed a range weapon. Anyways, its base attack is the same as the Siegfried and higher than the Gurren Mark II. Are you kidding me right now? Even the defense is comparable. That's so stupid. The special attacks three enemies in range, dealing 3.75 times your total attack power. And on top of all that, deals 8,000 damage. It prevents 1,000 or less damage for 17.5 seconds. That last effect goes well with Leto's damage prevention abilities. Leto and Schnee are Fun. Fantastic. It's just frustrating that their stats power creep canonically better pilots in the series. Gotcha games, man. You gotta love them. That being said, if you have the resources, it's worth trying to summon them at least a few times. Don't go too crazy here. I would only heavily commit to this banner if you just started. And while the Nightmare Frame stats are BS, that doesn't change the fact that they're still good. By the way, the glow release is coming up, and if you're curious what it might look like, check out this video right here.